Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. Most spots waking up to the frosty and freezing cold upper 20s and lower 30s this morning. Tonight is a chilly forecast, but probably not quite as cold as last night with middle and upper 30s. A little more common than the previous range. Let's warm it up at least in a relative sense, get you outside with sunny views. That does the job, right? And that's your West Shore home. First alert sky cam from Ocean Isle Beach. And this one is from the Murchison building in downtown Wilmington. It is a bright lunchtime skyscape under the sun. Wilmington has officially made it to 50 degrees. There is a light west breeze, single digits on the miles an hour as opposed to double digits yesterday at some gusts in the 20s and 30s. So that sure takes an edge off and the dew point temperature a razor sharp 25. So you have to cool the air all the way down to 25 to get it to saturate. It's very dry. You know that if you've been uh, getting itchy or maybe you touch a doorknob funny and you get a static electric shock that can happen when the dew points are low. Here's the plain old temperatures first. We have a full menu of upper 40s and lower 50s trending toward the lower and middle 50s for afternoon highs and dew points in the 20s. Not just a Wilmington thing all over the Cape Fear region back to the Grand Strand. The air is bone dry. Your radar scan akin to that free of showers of any kind. Those showers of the snow kind way off to the north on this eastern U.S. radar view. A few festive snowflakes around upstate New York and Vermont this afternoon. 5 p.m. similar suggestion and future radar. We're going to take this view forward hour by hour and ultimately day by day because I want to show you that storm system I mentioned in first forecast and we've been alerting you to for several days. It'll be low pressure about here and then a cold front draped to the south from it. Pretty sharp cold front so the barometer is falling one or two waves of showers as soon as Saturday night, Sunday morning and then the cold frontal showers itself. This structure here is late Sunday, Sunday night. So it's going to be a process, but ultimately the system is progressive. So it leaves us alone early to middle portions of next week to round out your seven day forecast. It's like we're back to our regularly scheduled clear and crisp and chilly weather. That's how we start the forecast bill. That's how we finish in the middle. We do consider a first alert action day as potentially on the table for Sunday. Things to Roll into that maybe holiday inflatables want to deflate them and pin them down when daylight Sunday with all those gusty showers. We'll keep you posted.